Sometimes Meemaw fumes about things that don't make no sense, and I can't get on board with it. I don't know why she gets so mad and so worked up about something somebody says or something somebody does. And today, I was in my trailer, and I seen Meemaw fuming like she's huffing it just across the trailer park gravel, you know, to her trailer. And she is hot, and I could tell. I was like, well, she's mad. And I don't know if I need to go see what's wrong or just give her time to cool down, that kind of way. It really caused me to stop and think, am I going to go over to her trailer and check on this or not? I mean, she is madder than a toddler without an iPad, you know, that kind of fire. Somebody probably said something to her. That's usually what gets her worked up this way. And that, so I just kind of knocked on, hey, Meemaw, I'm here. And I kind of opened the door and I said, Meemaw, who was it? She's pacing. She couldn't even sit down. And she said, it's Velda Lynn. She wants to get me a bath. And I said, come again? She goes, I know. She wants to get me a bath. She got me a gift certificate to take a bath, a, a called an oatmeal bath. Now, I was confused. I said, Meemaw, a bath is when you wash stuff off, not when you stick stuff back on. She wants you to take a bath in oatmeal? She's like, I don't know. And I asked her, I said, why in the world do you want me to take an oatmeal bath? Do I look like a sugar cube to you? I scratched my head, too. I said, what's the message she's trying to send you, Meemaw? And she said, how does that even work? I said, I'm with you, Meemaw. I'm asking the same question. I have no idea why Velda Lynn would want you to get in a bath full of oatmeal. I don't get it. Does she think I'm a stick of butter? And that's when a light went on for me. I said, Meemaw, how much oatmeal are they giving you? And she said, I don't know, a bathtub full? I said, Belle Lynn ain't taking a bath in the same room, is she? Lord, I hope not. I didn't even think about that. This is getting worst. I said, Meemaw, if you got your own oatmeal bath in a private room, I say you bring a bag of sugar, butter, and a serving spoon. Her eyes got wide. I looked at her. I said, it's lemons and lemonade, Meemaw. If somebody gives you an oatmeal bath, make breakfast. She smiled and said, can't nobody make a batch of oatmeal like me, Tavin. And I said, and after today, can't nobody make a bath of oatmeal like you, Mimo. Her shoulders relaxed. She kind of nodded her head a little bit. I could see my Mimo coming back now. You know, it was a beautiful thing. And she said, well, I better get back. I said, where? She said, Velda Lynn. I just walked out on her at the grocery store after she told me that. I guess she's still down there. I said, Mimo, that's a long walk for you. She goes, I can walk 20 miles easy if I'm mad. And I knew the grocery store wasn't that far, so I figured Mima, you know, she knew what she's talking about. I said, that oatmeal bath may actually be good for your muscles. And she got mad again, you know, just the thought of being in a bath full of oatmeal just gets her turning again. Then I said, actually, Mima, if you think about it, you're probably going to work up a pretty big appetite walking back to the grocery store, so you're going to be hungry. And a bathtub full of oatmeal may be just what the doctor ordered give you a good hearty breakfast. And she smiled at me as she dropped three sticks of butter and a sack of sugar and a serving spoon into a plastic bag. And then her day suddenly took a turn for the better. And mine did too. And I'm thinking if that oatmeal bath works out for her, I may need to look into getting one too. See you later. Hello. Hey guys, Joel Berry here. What? Oh, too high? Hey guys. Joel Berry here. I want to thank you for watching my videos. Please turn on notifications and subscribe. And also you can check out other work that I'm doing right here. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.